T.S. Eliot, in full Thomas Stearns Eliot born September 26, 1888, St. Louis, Missouri, U.S. a leader of the modernist movement in poetry in such works as The Waste Land, 1922, and Four Quartets, 1943. Eliot exercised a strong influence on Anglo-American culture from the 1920s until late in the century. The publication of Four Quartets led to his recognition as the greatest living English poet and man of letters, and in 1948 he was awarded both the Order of Merit and the Nobel Prize for Literature. The men who influenced him at Harvard were George Santayana, the philosopher and poet, and the critic Irving Babbitt. Eliot was to pursue four careers, editor, dramatist, literary critic, and philosophical poet. He was also a prolific reviewer and essayist in both literary criticism and technical philosophy. In 1919 he published Poems, which contained the poem, Gerontion, a meditative interior monologue in blank verse, nothing like this poem had appeared in English. The Wasteland is one of my favorite poems. Let's start. With the publication in 1922 of his poem The Waste Land, Eliot won an international reputation The Waste Land expresses with great power the disenchantment, disillusionment, and disgust of the period after World War I. In a series of vignettes, loosely linked by the legend of the search for the grail, it portrays a sterile world of panicky fears and barren lusts, and of human beings waiting for some sign or promise of redemption. The poem's style is highly complex, erudite, and elusive, and the poet provided notes and references to explain the work's many quotations and allusions. This scholarly supplement distracted some readers and critics from perceiving the true originality of the poem, which lay rather in its rendering of the universal human predicament of man desiring salvation, and in its manipulation of language, than in its range of literary references. In his earlier poems, Eliot had shown himself to be a master of the poetic phrase. The Wasteland showed him to be, in addition, a metrist of great virtuosity, capable of astonishing modulations ranging from the sublime to the conversational. Eliot was unequaled by any other 20th century poet in the ways in which he commanded the attention of his audience. He died on January 4, 1965 London, England.